At 11:14 p.m. on January 8th, 2004, a user posted a message on the Nichan forums. This might just be my imagination, but can I share something with you guys? What followed became one of the most famous threads in Nichan history and a modern urban legend. It was the start of Kisaragi Station. For those still unaware, Kisaragi Station follows Hasumi, a Nichan user, as she finds herself lost after getting on the train. She finds all sorts of discrepancies from her usual train trip, including the stations being further apart than normal and passing through tunnels that don't exist on her line. At the end, she gets off at Kisaragi Station, a station she has no knowledge of and doesn't appear to exist anywhere in Japan. Other users attempted to help her in real time, sharing advice and researching on her behalf. But things get weirder and weirder until a man appears and offers to drive her to the nearest station. Her final two messages before disappearing, just before 4am, mention that the car is heading further and further into the mountains, and the driver is starting to act strange, muttering something she doesn't understand. This is the last anyone ever hears of her, and a legend was born. But is Kisaragi Station a real place? Hasumi gives several names and solid details during the story, and people have spent years trying to find where she might have gone. Did she really travel to another dimension, or did she end up at a phantom station in the real world? It's a mystery that, over 16 years later, people are still trying to solve. In the story, several place names are mentioned. First of all is Kisaragi Station itself, a station that doesn't seem to exist anywhere in Japan. To date, no one has found any station that currently, or even formally, was known as Kisaragi. Hasumi also mentions a tunnel close to Kisaragi Station, which has the name Isanuki written above it. This may or may not be how it's read in English, as she only gives the kanji characters, and it's not a combination seen anywhere outside this story. She also mentions the place name Hina, which an old man tells her when she asks where they are. Hina is a real place, in Shizuoka Prefecture no less, close to Mount Fuji. It's a fair distance from Hamamatsu, where Hasumi supposedly first started her journey, and she mentions that there's no way that's possible. With these three names, it's possible to start digging into the potential facts behind the story, but let's take a look at a few more details first. One of the very first things Hasumi mentions is that she got on the train at Shin Hamamatsu Station. This is a real station, and it's here that Almost immediately, the veracity of the story comes into question. One of the very first things Hasumi posts is that she thinks she got on the wrong train. Her first post is at 11.14pm. By this point, she has noticed that something is strange and wants to share it, so she's presumably already been on the train for a while. Four minutes later, she finally mentions that she's on the train and things seem odd. Then, at 11.23pm, 10 minutes after her first post, she mentions that the train hasn't stopped for the last 20 minutes, which would put her getting on the train sometime before 11pm. She then mentions that the train normally stops every few minutes, with 5 minutes between stops being the longest, yet this train is stopping only every 7 to 8 minutes. This presents several problems. First, Shin Hamamatsu is a real station, but it only goes one way. It's the end of the line, meaning trains can only go in one direction. It's literally impossible for Hasumi to have gotten on the wrong train, because every single one goes the same way and stops at the exact same stations. She mentions she uses this train all the time, so 
It's not like it's her first time here either. She knows this station well, so she would know that the trains only go one way. For her to say, I think I've gotten on the wrong train, immediately puts into doubt that she has ever used Shin Hamamatsu Station at all. The trains leaving from Shin Hamamatsu also stop at stations every few minutes, with the largest time between stations being only three minutes. Hasumi mentions the longest time as usually being five. This can potentially be waved away as Hasumi generalizing, but it's also worth pointing out. In any case, there is zero chance for Hasumi to get on the wrong train at Shin Hamamatsu, and if she used the station all the time, as she claims, she would know that. This makes the claim itself strange and contradictory. But let's assume for a moment that Hasumi really did get on the train, as usual, at Shin Hamamatsu. Hasumi never mentions which station she usually gets off at, but trains from Shin Hamamatsu stop every few minutes on the Enshu railway line before ending at Nishikajima Station. The entire trip takes roughly 32 minutes and never leaves the city. There are, as Hasumi mentions, no tunnels between the beginning and ending stations, yet at 12.19am, almost an hour after her first post, and twice the time it should have taken to reach the final station, she mentions leaving a tunnel and the train slowing down. This would easily place her somewhere in the mountains of Shizuoka, if she was following the normal laws of time and space, and if the train lines even went that far to begin with. They don't. The tracks end at Nishikajima. But in either case, this still wouldn't put her anywhere near Hina over by Mount Fuji, or at least our version of it. At 1.12am, Hasumi mentions she's left the station and is following the train line back. There's nothing around but mountains and open fields, which could honestly place her outside any large city in Japan. She mentions calling both her parents and the police, the latter of which brushes her off because they think she's pranking them. So it would seem that her phone works, if nothing else. Of course, she's posting on the Nichan forums, so she kind of needs her phone to work for the story to get through. The next strange point happens at 2.09am. An old man appears as she's walking along the tracks with only a single leg. The man yells at her before disappearing into thin air before her very eyes. Although shocked, she still keeps going and at 2.45am, she comes across Isanuki Tunnel. This, like Kisaragi Station, doesn't exist anywhere in Japan. She passes through the tunnel, which many posters following her story in real time believed would bring her back to our reality, and she soon runs into someone who offers to take her to the nearest station. This happens at 3.20am, over four hours since her first post. This is the man who mentions that they're in Hina. At 3.37, they are heading towards the mountains, and at 3.44, Hasumi mentions that her battery is dying, and the man is muttering to himself. This is the final post she ever makes. It's impossible, if we take the story to be true, for Hasumi to have ended up anywhere in our world. There's no way. Yet, over the years, some have suggested Saginomiya Station, one of the stations on the Enshu line, as the potential basis for Kisaragi. It's a small station, seeing only roughly 1,000 passengers daily, and for a while people claimed that it was unmanned, yet this was later proven to be untrue. Plus it only takes 14 minutes to reach Saginomiya from Shin Hamamatsu in the middle of the city, so the timelines and environment don't fit in the slightest. It's not even a stretch to believe because 
there's not a single thing about either station that lines up. It's evident that Kisaragi Station does not exist. Not in this plane of existence anyway. There's a reason it's known as one of the most popular isekai, or parallel world, stories, after all. If we take the story at face value, and believe that Hasumi was telling the truth, then the moment she got on the train at Shin Hamamatsu must have been the moment she shifted into whatever reality Kisaragi Station exists in. And whether you believe in the possibility of alternate realities and the possibility of reaching one of those from a random train station is up to you. But Kisaragi Station, as told of in the post, does not exist anywhere in our world. It's also interesting to note that Kisaragi Station might actually be the work of two separate people. All posts on Nichan are anonymous, and the story that we know today was actually posted by two separate IDs. The first five posts attributed to Hasumi are posted under an anonymous name, and this person at no point ever mentions a specific location other than a private railway line in Shizuoka. It's not until 12.08 am that this user apparently switches from an anonymous handle to Hasumi, and this Hasumi is the one who goes into further detail, mentioning Shin Hamamatsu as the starting point and creating the entire story of Kisaragi. Everyone assumes it is the same person and, at least in the thread, it was never questioned. It's possible that someone started a vague thread about a train going somewhere it shouldn't have, and then someone else picked it up and expanded upon it. But it's also possible that Hasumi just decided to make herself more visible by changing her name to something that stood out amongst all the anonymous handles. Ultimately, we will likely never know. Another interesting tidbit and Perhaps one lesser known to Western audiences is that after disappearing in 2004, Hasumi apparently resurfaced on Nichan in 2011. Someone claiming to be the original Hasumi, who disappeared from Kisaragi Station, posted that she had returned. But for her, no time had passed at all, even though seven years had passed for the rest of us. This seemingly confirmed that Kisaragi Station exists outside time and space as we know it, although she offered no explanation of how she ended up there in the first place. According to Hasumi, or at least someone posing as her, after the car stopped in the mountains, a light enveloped it and the driver was annihilated. As she approached the car, another man appeared and told her to run. And so she did, crying and running the whole way back to the closest station that she could remember. When she got there, she was apparently back in our world, and seven years had passed. No other explanation was given, and many have argued against this being a true update, as there's no way to confirm whether it's the same person or not. Like most things on Nichan, it's up to you whether you want to believe she safely returned or not. Most people would agree that the story of Kisaragi Station is fake. It was a fascinating online experiment that took place in a time when the internet, and particularly anonymous forums, were finding their footing in Japan. Someone took advantage of the Nichan format in a unique and quite honestly, fascinating way, to create an urban legend before people's very eyes, and it hasn't ever been replicated on such a scale again. People have tried, but none have been able to capture the magic that was Hasumi's live adventure into the unknown. But what do you guys think? Could Kisaragi Station really exist, or was it all an elaborate prank that the internet fell for and continues to fall for? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.